Alright guys, let's do this problem that says determine the tension in each cable and the components of reaction at D needed to support the load. So whenever you do these problems, what I always tell you to do first is add all the forces in the X, Y, and C directions to start getting an idea of what you need to do. But first, let's draw the free body diagram. So we have this force right here, which we're going to call TB, tension B. We have this force that we're going to call tension C, since it goes towards times B and C respectively. Now, we know that we have this force of 400, newton, 400 newtons, which we're going to call F, and then we have all the reactions at point D, which we're going to call DX, DY, and DC. Now, what we want to do is, like I said, find all forces sums that are equal to zero for x, y, and c directions, right? But before we do that, I want to write all these back all these uh, forces in Cartesian vector form for that to be easy. Now, what does that mean? It means that, for example, F, we want to write it in terms of I, J, and K. So we can all add them together after, and these equations become much easier. So for example, F, we know it's 0 on the I, plus in the J is 400 sine of 30, J. And that's because this is the Y component of this force. And this is the x component of this force. I'm sorry, not the x component, the c component. And then this is minus 400 cosine of 30k. The next force is t of b, which is equal to the univector. Let's call it from a to b times the magnitude of the force and that means that a univector with length of one times the magnitude of that force is equal to the cartesian vector form of this vector so let me do that down here to find this univector we basically have to do the un the vector that goes from sorry a to b over the magnitude of that vector that means that from a to B, this vector is equal to minus 6 in the I, minus 3 in the J, and plus 2 in the K. And you have to divide it by the magnitude of that vector, which is 6 square, this number square, plus 3 square, plus 2 square, and all of that square rooted. Now, 6 square plus 3 square plus 2 square is 49, square rooted is... 7. And that makes this vector equal to minus 0.857i minus 0.428j plus 0.286k. Right out of space here. Okay, there we go. So now that we have this univector, then we can write the Cartesian vector form like so. 7 TB minus 0.428 TB, sorry, this is in the I, in the J, plus 0.286 TB in the K. Perfect. Now we have to do the same steps with TC. So for TC, we need to find the vector that goes from A to C times DC, the univector that goes from A to C. And the univector is given by AC over the magnitude of AC. Pretty much the same steps are going to go a little faster on this one. Minus 6 in the I, plus 0 in the J, plus 2 in the K, all over 6.32, which is 6 squared plus 0 squared plus 2 squared, all square rooted. And that is equal to 
minus 0.949 in the i plus 0.316 in the j. So minus 0.949 dc in the i plus 0j plus 0.316 dc in the k. And then the last one is d. And d would be equal to dx in the i. These are the reactive forces plus dy in the j plus dc in the k. Perfect. So now we can know that the sum of all these vectors should be equal to zero, right? Which means that we can sum the i's and it should be equal to zero, sum the j's and should be equal to zero, and sum the k's and should be equal to zero. So in the i, we have minus point, oops, zero is equal to minus point eight five seven dv minus point nine four nine dc plus dx, and all of that is equal to zero. In the j gives us another equation which is 200 minus 0.428 dB plus dy is equal to zero. And then the k give us another equation which is 0.286 dB 0.286 dB plus 0.316 dc plus dz is equal to 346.41. Now, we have three equations, but how many variables do we have? We have one variable, two variables, three variables, dx, dy, and dc. We have five variables, so we still cannot solve the system. So what we need to do now is we need to do the moments around a point to try and get more equations to solve the system of equations. Now, what point is that point? Well, I always tell you, go look at all the points and try to figure out which one has the most variables. Now, if you look at point A, you see that it has two variables, TB and TC. But if we look at point D, we see that we have three variables. So we're gonna pick the moments around point D. Let me add a new page for this. So we're going to do the sum of the moments around point D, which is equal to zero, is equal to the vector from D to A cross the sum of DB plus DC plus F, because all these forces are creating a moment around this point. And yep, that's pretty much it. So that being said, we're saying that sum of the moments at D is equal to, and I'm going to do each of these matrices. I'm going to do three matrices, try to be organized here. And F, this last one's going to F. So the first matrix that I'm doing is RDA cross TB. And that means that I, J, K, we need the vector RDA, which is 6, 0, 0. Lots of zeros, and that's always a happy thing with matrices. Minus 0.857 dB, which is the vector TB. Minus 0.428 dB. And the last one is plus 0.286 dB. So rewrite first and second column, 6, 0, minus 0.857 dB, and minus 0.428 dB. Then we're going to do our positive diagonals. The I times 0 times 0.286 is 0, J times 0 times 0.857 is 0. Then we have a 6 times negative 0.428. That will be negative 2.571 dB in the K. And then your negative diagonals. 
remember these are negative and the first one's zero the second one's zero and the last one is six times 0.286 times negative times j which is minus 1.716 db in the j so we get our first matrix the second is rda cross dc which is i i'm gonna go a little faster okay six zero zero and tc is equal to negative point nine four nine tc zero and point three one six tc rewrite first and second six zero point nine four nine tc and zero lots of zeros on this one and this is zero this is zero this is zero perfect negative diagonals this is zero this is zero and this is the only one which is negative times 0.316 tc times 6 times j which is minus 1.896 tc in the j the last matrix rda cross f is i j k vector rda is 600 and f is 0 200 because remember f is 400 times sine of sine of uh, uh, 30 degrees given right here which is this component right here and then um, the other one is negative 346.41 which is this one right here given by 400 cosine of 30 rewrite first and second six zero zero two hundred this is zero, another zero, six times 200 is 1200 in the, okay? And then negative diagonals, which is zero, zero. And this last one is negative times negative 346.41 times six times J, which is positive 2078 in the J, yeah. There's no other variable there, uh, 0.4. So now, same thing, we add the i's, the j's, and the k's, and we know that they're all equal to zero, and we get another set of equations. So in the i, we have absolutely nothing. In the j, what we got in the j? We got minus 1.716 tb, minus 1.896 tc, plus 2078.46 is equal to zero. So on the K, we get minus 2.571 TV plus 1200 is equal to zero. And check this out. We only have one variable here, so we can solve for TV and we get 467 Newtons. Cool. So this TV, we can plug it in right here in this other equation, and we can solve for TC, and we're gonna get that TC is equal to 674 Newtons. And now with these two, we can go back. Yes, we can go back here. We have TV and TC now, so we could plug it in into this equation to find the x, this equation to find the y, and this equation to find dc. So once you plug them in, you're going to get that dx is equal to 1040 newtons, dy is roughly zero, and dc is also roughly zero. So final answer for the reactions, and final answer for dc and tv. If you made it this far, please make sure you go to finalanswer.com. There you're going to find all the videos I've been working on and six ways to support this channel. And make sure you check my merch store by going to store.finalanswer.com.